Okay, so I'm going to solve a problem which is asking me to basically find the value, an unknown value, in a formula of a hydrated compound. And the question has told me what has happened when this hydrated compound has been heated in order to convert it into an anhydrous form of the compound. And the anhydrous form therefore would have no molecules of H2O remaining in it. So the question says, heating 3.210 grams of hydrated MgSO4, which is hydrated with uh, X moles of H2O, and the MgSO4 is magnesium sulfate, and this, this forms 1.567 grams of anhydrous magnesium sulfate. Now find the value of x, which is this x here, and write the formula of the hydrated salt. Okay, so the first thing I want to tackle here is the moles of water. And I don't know the moles of water yet. And I don't know the mass of water. But what I do know right so far which I can find from the periodic table is the molar mass of water which is 16 uh, plus 2 which is 18 and this would be the MR and now we have this and what we can do now is find out the mass of water because we know that this has water this doesn't have any water so all the water that is left must be the difference between these two masses so we can subtract this from this to find out the mass of water so 3.210 minus 1.567 would give us the mass which is One point six four three. One point six four three. And so now we have this as the mass, one point six four three grams. And we can find out the number of moles using the formula that number of moles N is equal to the mass divided by the molar mass, big M. And we have both of these two values, so we can use this equation. And so therefore the number of moles would be equal to the mass 1.643 divided by the molar mass which is 18. And this gives us 0 0.091277. Well, I'll run this to three significant figures. This gives us 0 0.0913. And now we can do the same with the mass of the MgSO4, which is the first part of this formula. And we're going to need this so that we can find out the ratio between this and this. And then we will know that we need to get this now, the number of moles of this to 1 to find out the number of moles of H2 per mole of MgSO4 and this would give us the value of X when we round it to a whole number so now I have the mass here so the mass of MgSO4, MgSO4. the mass is equal to 1.567 grams and we don't know the molar mass yet but we can work that out quite easily from the periodic table which I'm going to do now so mg mg 24.3 is it the relative atomic mass 24.3 and we can we need now add that to the relative atomic mass of so far which is 32.1 32.1 and then the O4, so we add this to the relative atomic mass of oxygen, 
which is 16.0 16.0 and this is 4 so we times that by 4 and this gives us the molar mass of of the of, of the MGSO4 so 24.3 plus 32.1 plus 16 times 4 which is 120.4 120.4 and this would be in grams per mole and so now we have the mass here and we have the molar mass here and so now we can find out the number of moles using that this equation and so therefore the number of moles n is equal to 1.567 the mass of mgso4 divided by 120.4 which is 1.567 20.4 which is 0 0.013 0 0.013 and now we can we can use these two we now have a ratio and our ratio is 0 0.013 moles of magnesium sulfate to every 0. Point, well it's more the other way around 0. 0913. Uh, what I was saying is it would be better for this way around if I say 0 0.0913 moles of water for every 0 0.013 moles of magnesium sulfate but we want to know the moles of water for every one mole of magnesium sulfate so to get this number to one we just need to divide it by itself so what I'll do here is divide this by 0 0.013 and this would change this into 1 and this whatever number is produced here I'll round it up and this would give us the value of x or not round it up but round it to the nearest whole number so 0, 0 0.013 hey, why am I working out that, that would be 1 this would be 1 and this other number 0 0.0913 divided by 0 0.013 would give me 7.02 and we round this to the nearest whole number so therefore it would be 1 to 7 and therefore since this in this, this ratio of 1 the 1 is we don't show the 1 so this is just the 1 but x would be therefore equal to 7 because it's a ratio we've seen the ratio is 1 to 7 7 moles of H12 for every mole of magnesium so therefore the formula would be well first of all x is equal to 7 so we've, we've answered the first part find the value of x and now write the formula of the hydrated salt so the formula would be mg SO4 magnesium sulfate dot and an X so 7 H2 oh so this would be our formula for this hydrated salt so yeah